First of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Joey Hoyer. I'm a concerned resident of Reserve Mines, just like everybody here. Uh, I'm not a President Legion member, just to make that clear to everybody. But I'm like everybody else, I'm here to show my support and sign up and hopefully help uh, work towards the future of Branch 2. I'm going to get things started with a quick overlook of the situation from what I have been told uh, from Branch 2, President Fran Murphy, and also talking to Command President of the Nova Scotia Nunavut Command, uh, Jean Marie DeVoe, which I talked to yesterday for uh, more than 45 minutes. Uh, what they're looking for, everybody thinks that we need members here. We do, but we need members that are going to support the place and volunteer and show up. And people can't do that every day, and we understand that, and I'm sure the Legion understands that also. But you have to try to give something back. If it's one time a year, you can come and help at an event or anything. It just every little bit helps. And it's the only way this place is going to stay open. They, all the lines of communication are open with the command. Just to let everybody know, you see some things in the Herald yesterday. Cape Breton Post the day before is totally opposite from what was said yesterday. So I don't know where this is all coming from, but they, the, everything is still open for line of communication. Um, the charter was revoked due to a bylaw of being in debt. The Legion is in debt, and not because of lack of members but probably because of lack of support, because that's how they got in that situation. The future of the Legion is all depends on you people. According to the command, they said they've been trying to approve this Legion for the last 10 years. I don't know that for sure, but that's what they're telling us. They said they came down for a meeting over the last few months and only two members showed up. And then when they found out some financial situations, they decided amongst themselves to shut the doors. So that's what happened, and that's why we're in this situation. Once again, I asked some serious questions to her, like, are we wasting our time? Should we even show up and have a meeting? Should we try to save this place? And she responded back once again, communications are still open. We'd like to hear the outcome of this meeting. So I said, why don't you come down to this meeting? They wouldn't come down. Um, they want something presented to them. Then they will go into the committee, their own executive committee, and make a decision, and they'll get back to us on a very fashionable notice. Uh, a very fashionable time frame. She wants to see new membership. She wants to see a plan of action. And what a plan of action is, what are we going to do to save this place and prevent it from happening ever again? And this is what this is where we stand right now. The Legion is debt to Revenue Canada approximately twenty thousand dollars, give or take, because there is some submit submittance that are not done. The Legion has $750 in assets, which is pretty well cash, which is not a lot. There's some bills that are owed, uh, oil bills. I'm not sure on the situation of the power bills or any phone communications, but if the situation, that's probably owed too. The Legion has a mortgage of an amount that exceeds $15,000, which is not a lot of money, but it was money that was needed to, that was taken out for the construction of the Legion and more or less the repairs of went. It was uh, condemned when the new piece was built many years ago. The Legion does have, which is a positive thing, $6,000, exceeds of $6,000 worth of alcohol stocked in the barrel. So there is a potential chance that they do open the door, there's, there's a chance of revenue there. The Legion has 21 paid members as of right now, down from 100 in 2008. It's a big number, wow. and they said it was down in 2008. So that pretty well explains a lot right there. And this is right across Canada too. I contacted legions right from Alberta to Quebec. It was a little hard talking to those people, but <laughs> um, in Alberta, one legion branch 57 had 1,600 members three years ago. They got 400. So that's a big number. And but imagine if we had 400, we'd be so strong and be unbelievable. But that's not the case. So what we need today is people to sign up. I'm going to explain what some potential examples of plan of actions are, and more or less you guys all going to agree if we're going to go forward or we're going to lock out the door and there'll be a for sale sign on that and the, the Royal Canadian Legion is going to make approximately $125,000 profit after they pay everything. And that's just going to go to somebody else's legion. So 
A big concern was a lot of people were saying, well, we'll go spend the $35, we'll join, we'll help, but the doors will close tomorrow and we don't have our money. We're not sending one cent to the Royal Canadian Legion in Ottawa or anywhere. I have a um, safety deposit box at the, at the lead, or, uh, party union with two keys and we're going we're gonna to vote on two people here to take the money and when the doors open, the money gets submitted. The doors don't open, every single person that's supported from here on, that paid from today on, gets their money back. I can't do anything about any members that already paid before the doors close. Sorry, I can't do nothing about that and command was clear to it. Um, yeah, the, the big thing is a plan of action, because clearly things are not working the way where they are right now. So the first thing of a plan of action is we need to reopen the doors. We've got to continue to increase new membership and membership involvement. Paper members are not worth nothing to, to the Legion. You know? And everybody don't have the time to spend. It's not like some people here might be a volunteer fire department. That's a lot more to volunteer to, because you might have a fire call out. Hopefully there's never a fire at the Legion that you get called to. There's a couple that everybody tries to put out every now and then, but that's a, another story. Um, you got to open the books, and the books got to be open to all the members, and there's got to be an accounting committee put in place immediately. Um, you got to get the books out of the red, and how do you get the books out of the red? Fundraising. You know, myself as a musician, and Matthew here, and other guys will volunteer, and I, and I contacted several bands, Nikki here, and so their bands, their the bands ready to go. Has already, been well, uh, has yeah. already said we volunteer. Yeah. Our Dave time. is one of the newer bands around that are playing everywhere. Just go out and see them. Just a little <laughs> guys there. You know, and I had other people, I and mean, even talked to Matt Anderson. If any of you guys know him, I know him personally. Love him. Uh, if it comes down to guys like this, are even willing to step up to get us something in the door to get this debt and awesome. out of the red. Uh, we I'll have talk to sketch. Malcolm and see if he'd be willing to volunteer his time with the sound man. Yeah, stuff like that would be good too. You know, anything to get in the door, and not just that. You gotta have more ideas. You know, a steak can style, You know what I mean? It's a beer place. Why not have a barbecue out and sell some steaks and some beer? Get some people to <coughs> horseshoe tournaments and stuff, which they tried before, but it's a little different situation now. And I think the people are really gonna come together. We gotta schedule some more our future. Our future day-to-day -day operations and planning. You gotta know what's going on. Does the Legion gotta be open seven days a week? Absolutely not. Not if, not if we're having problems paying bills. No way. Um, there's gotta be some internal committees formed. 